guys, Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. I know I haven't been around for a while. I went on vacation and so took a little time off and I'm going to talk about that too. What I did, I made decent money while I went on vacation and took orders and all of that. I'm going to discuss that in a second. So I'm going to also first start out with what sold over the weekend. So, um, the sales were decent. I mean, not the best sales I've ever had, but they were good sales. So. We'll start with this first. Um, this is a, let me just put this down here. Um, that is a Talbot's, Talbot's uh, sleeveless blouse, women's size 16, light blue slash gray stretch. Um, and I sold it for $14.20 and I purchased it for two bucks. And, and free shipping on it. So, I think I profited maybe 10 bucks off of this shirt. So, decent little profit on this shirt. Okay. All right. Put that aside. Okay, next. This is a really nice pair of pants. I think they're Chico's. Yeah, nice pair of Chico's dress slacks. So let me just show you these first. Hopefully you guys are seeing them right there. I don't want to touch them on the ground. Okay, and then there's the back. And they're a great size. They're a larger size. They're a size um, 3.0. So um, just lay these out. And I'll read exactly the information. I like to read the title of how I titled the um how I titled the item I'm selling so that you guys can get ideas of what to put in your title. Um I said Chico's dress pants, women's size three career. Um and that's all I put in the title. And I sold them for $19.95 uh free shipping. So and size three is good. I mean that's probably a size this might be like a 14 or something, 13 or 14, something like that. So anyway, um I of course I put the measurements in the uh title. I paid two bucks for these, and like I said, I sold them for $19.95, so really good money I made on these pants. I picked up these at one of my um, local thrift stores that I love going to, which I'll be going to tomorrow because I went through my husband's closet and picked out a whole bunch of his stuff, which I'll be showing you guys in some hauls here shortly, and um, I think I'm going to title it um, haul from the closet or profiting from home or something like that anyway um so i did all that and so now i've got to go shopping so i will be going hit the th my my two favorite thrift stores tomorrow okay this is a denim and company blouse you guys denim and company i've told you guys this a million times it's a great brand to sell um i'm trying to stay out of the video because i'm in my pajamas of course like always um denim and company um blouse these are sold on QVC. It's a little wrinkle, so I'll probably, I'll throw this in the dryer before I package it up uh, with a little wet washcloth and probably a, um, a little um, bounce just to freshen it up too. But anyway, um, this Denim & Company brand sells awesome, you guys. And um, it's a QVC brand. They've been selling it for years. It has a great following. I get this stuff, Denim & Company, in my thing, and it doesn't even last. I'll show you guys the show you up close that's the brand I wear denim and company jeans I absolutely love their jeans uh come on doesn't want to there it is so there's the thing and this is just a simple little um knit top but these simple knit tops sell well you guys when you guys see these knit tops and it's a decent brand pick them up people love these if you look around what people are wearing all the time, this is something that people wear all the time. I love these kind of tops. And they're really well-made ones. Um, I picked this up for $0.85, cents and I sold it for $18.95 for shipping. So that's a good profit there. Um, here's another blouse. It's really wrinkly, so I need to... Sometimes in the box, I keep everything in a box, put in a plastic bag in the box, and they get really wrinkled. Anyway, this is um, this is a, I call this a bohemian blouse, and I'll tell you guys how I tiled it. It's very bohemian, it's very hippie. 
Okay. Just I, I kind of move it up and down to make sure you guys are getting the whole thing. Okay, and then I'll lay it out. Okay, so how I titled this in my title, I titled this Bohemian. And INC is the brand. And INC is a good brand. So you could have put INC first. But I, so look for that brand INC. They make dresses. They make everything. But I felt that the Bohemian would be the word to put in there first. So I said Bohemian, INC, tunic blouse, size large, bell sleeves. And at the end I put hippie boho. Because those are really good keywords. Um, I picked this up for two bucks. And I sold it for... You know what? Um, I haven't been paid for this yet, um, but they, um, but we, but I accepted an offer. I think I accepted fit fourteen ninety five for this. Yeah, fourteen ninety five. So, and free shipping. So, and when I'm done, I'll probably make about eight or nine dollars off of this one. Okay. Got there. Um, one more thing for the clothes. Um, this is, let me scoot this stuff down. I sold more clothes over the weekend than I did action figures, so. If you guys see any tape on anything, that's because that's my own thing. Okay, this is a really, this is a size 26 skirt, so it's a great size. Um, I didn't really sell this on, it's uh, LA Blues. That is not a real popular brand. But these jean skirts are popular, and they look very bohemian, and they're maxi. So bohemian and maxi were the keywords that sold this skirt. Bohemian, boho, hippie, that's all really in style, and women love maxi skirts. They love maxi skirts and maxi dresses. So, and it's a nice, it's a nice, uh, a nice larger size. So how I did this specifically was bohe bohemian maxi denim skirt, Women size 26, and then I put the, uh, the brand at the end, LA Blues, and I put Dressy Casual. Um, so see how I did that? I didn't even put the brand name as the first as the first thing in the title. I put more of description of the style. So I sold it based on style, not based on brand on this one. Um, I only picked this up for a buck, you guys, and I sold this for $19.95. Yeah. So, uh, that's a great profit margin on this, like crazy profit margin. Um, oh, sorry, I sold it for $14.95. Sorry, not $19.95. Okay. There's Layette. Oh, here's another one I sold. Um, this is just simply a scarf that I got from... Um, I'm gonna tell you guys something that's crazy about this scarf too. Okay, I got this scarf from a garage sale down the street where I picked up everything for like a quarter. So this is a scarf from Sears and it has tags on it. So just show you guys really quick. It's just a scarf, no big deal. Okay, um, and it has, its, it's new with tags still. And you know what's funny you guys, this thing only sold for $6. They had it down to six dollars. I sold it for more. Let's just say. Um, they had this down to six dollars, and I sold it for more than that on eBay. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so let me just put this down here. Yeah, it's just simply a scarf. Um, I put New Lens End, and if you find the brand New Lens End, that brand is sold at Sears. So I picked up a bunch of that brand um, down there at this local garage sale that was down the street from my house. Um, so it's, I said Lens End Beige Scarf, length 51 width. I sold it for $8, free shipping. So, so I sold it for a couple more bucks than Sears could get for it when they were putting it out. And basically, I picked this up for free. You guys, I got so many of these. She just sold me the whole box of them. And I'm saying that I picked them up for a quarter, but when I got done with them, they said that I just got it for free. So I turned six. I turned um, what did I turn that into? Eight dollars. Uh, I turned free into eight dollars. <laughs> so I think when I'm done with paying for the shipping and everything, shipping's nothing on this. I think I'll make six six bucks off of it. And after eBay gets there, 
portion of it too. Something like that. Anyway, not a whole lot of money, but what was nice is that I bought probably, I well, I was given probably 30 of these. So all I have to do is hit relist. I don't have to keep listing this over and over again. So that's good. Okay. Um, next. Okay, this is an action figure. I only sold two action figures over the weekend, which I was kind of surprised about. But sometimes you sell more clothes, sometimes they sell more action figures. It just depends. So this is TNA Samoa Joe action figure. Um, you know what? We just wanted, my husband probably picked this up for maybe, this is a long time ago, maybe eight bucks. We only sold it for 13 plus $8.95 shipping. It was something that we just actually wanted to get out of, you know, just sell because. They're not selling for that much. They didn't go up that much in price. So, but we got rid of it and it's been sitting in our garage. So still, it's good. Okay. You guys have seen a lot of times these action figures go up in prices and you guys have seen that and they're just like crazy. But sometimes they don't. So you know what? Like anything else, sell it, get rid of it, get it out of your inventory and move on. Okay. Um, this is a... Um, this is UFC One Legends Hoist Gracie action figure. And I sold this one for $30 plus shipping of $8.95. So this is a great profit margin on this. Probably picked it up for $10. So uh, really good. So that is it. And what I want to talk to you is I'll leave, the, I'll leave the action figure out here so you guys can look at that while I talk really quick. I just want to give a couple of tips um, about vacation. Um, I went on vacation last week. Yeah, last week. And um, you can go ahead and make um, extra listings so that you can um, have listings to make active while you're on vacation. Um, I didn't even bother doing that because at this point I have so much stuff because I have everything only good for 30 days. Then it goes to my unsold. So every day when I look in my unsold, I have all these ones that I need to relist because their 30 days are up. So when all I have to do is go in there and take maybe 10 of those unsolds and relist them real quick. And now they come up as brand new listings, right? So that's what I did when I was on vacation. So every day on vacation, I just went to my unsold and I hit relist. And then I would hit the next day I was on vacation, I go to five or 10 of them, I hit relist. Okay, so, and that enabled my store to look like to eBay that I was listing every day still, okay? So, and my sales were great. Um, when I got back, I left on a Thursday, um, so when I got back, I probably had 15 items that had sold over that amount of time, um, which was decent. So it was good. And also what I did too with my stores, I, of course, I didn't close my store down. I extended my um, handling time. So just go into your, go into your store and extend your handling time. So instead of having a one day or a two day handling time, work it out with however long you were going to be gone. So I had extended it five days handling time, working days. And what that did too is actually, when I got back on Monday, I didn't have to have everything sent out on Monday. I could have everything sent out on Tuesday. And that's better because I got back on Monday. You guys, what if I didn't get back on Monday? What if I'm too tired? And I was too tired on Monday to do anything. So I had, so I pulled some stuff on Monday when I got back. I pulled out everything actually. But I didn't package everything and get everything sent off until Tuesday. And it gave me that extra day. So I just wanted to give you guys that tip that really helps to go on vacation and to be able to keep your business open and to be up making sales and for things to run smoothly while you're on vacation. So, and then that way you don't have to worry also about um, having anybody at your house and shipping things out. And um, anyway, I, 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 it worked for me. So I wanted to give you guys that tip. So if you wanna go on vacation, that's a great way of doing it. Um, I think that's it, you guys. Okay, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. I'm pretty active on Instagram and Facebook. I'll leave those below. And you guys, I have oh, I have so many haul videos coming out, so I will try to get those out as soon as possible. I'm probably gonna do a haul video today, um, and it'll be titled um, uh, "Making Money Out of Your Closet," because that's basically what I did. I mean, I I know you should do that. That's the first thing you should do, but I don't know. I kind of did it half-ass backwards, <laughs> and I. Well, I guess I didn't. I went through all my clothes and sold a bunch of my clothes. But then my husband just decided finally he wanted to give up a bunch of his clothes that he had and he'd been having for years. So 
I guess I couldn't have done it until he was ready. So anyway, that'll be my next video. And then I have other hauls that I need to get out to. So I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.